हेलो डॉक्टर्स वेलकम बैक टू जब स्टडीज मेट वन एम डॉक्टर ऐश्वर्या मुकुल एंड दिस इज पार्ट टू फॉर पैथोलॉजी मशनो इमेजेस लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टॉपिक आरबीसी डिसऑर्डर्स इन आरबीसी डिसऑर्डर्स द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी आर गोना सी इज हाइंस बॉडीज वेरी फेमस टॉपिक फॉर द एग्जाम फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ट हाइंस बॉडीज आर सीन इन जी सिक्स पी डी डिफिशियंसी एनीमिया सो इन दिस ड्यू टू द डिफिशियंसी ऑफ जी सिक्स पी डी दर विल बी अ डिफिशियंसी ऑफ Glutathione peroxidase, which will lead to increased H two O two, that is hydrogen peroxide in the cells, which precipitates the hemoglobin. So you can see that these Heinz bodies are small, sort of dot, sort of a thing, where the hemoglobin is concentrated, uh, concentrated in the cell, which is causing these Heinz bodies. Next one is bite cells, which are literally look like small bite is taken out of a cell. This is also seen in G six P D deficiency anemia. The precipitated hemoglobin is eaten up by splenic macrophages. So first the hind bodies occur. They go to the uh, spleen, and the macrophages in the spleen will take a bite out of the cells where the hind body is present. So they straight up grab the hind bodies and just uh, the result is a bite cell. It is also known as very important for the exam. Also known as helmet cell. Host cell, parachute cell, blister cell, and degma site. Degma site has been asked before. The next one is golf ball uh, appearance, which is seen in thalassemia. Thalassemia also, uh, when you see golf ball appearance, it's known as hemoglobin H disease, which has golf ball inclusions. You can see that the Uh, diabetes look have inclusions which give them a dotted sort of an appearance which looks like a golf ball. Next one is target cell. Another very commonly asked question seen in beta thalassemia, also known as uh, the target cells are also known as codocytes. You can see that there is a target sign, the one that you use in uh, the targets that you use in archery. It is like a outer circle and like an inner circle. It looks like a target sign. Next one is fish mouth vertebrae. Fish mouth vertebrae are seen in thalassemia. They are uh, they occur due to excess erythropoiesis in the bone marrow of the flat bones. So what happens is there is an increased amount of red uh, red blood cells which gets produced in the flat bones such as vertebra, and you can see that the uh, vertebra will start looking like a fish mouth on uh, X-ray. crooked or hair on end appearance of the skull also seen in thalassemia you can see that the skull bone it looks like it ha- you you gave it a crooked sort of a haircut due to excess erythropoiesis in bone marrow of the flat bones another thing is skull is also a, a flat bone so e- excess erythropoiesis over there will give you this x-ray abnormality sickle cells they are of course seen in sickle cell anemia in which there is a hemoglobin defect HBS. Those what happens in sickle cell is the glutamate is replaced by valine. Glutamate is replaced by valine, and it is a missense point mutation. You have to remember that. So the cells will literally look like a sickle, and it directly points to sickle cell anemia. Spherocytes. The name is uh, name suggests that it is. It occurs in hereditary spherocytosis mostly. But what ha- uh, what happens is it occurs in immune immune hemolytic anemia as well. So how to differentiate it? Like for example, a patient comes in and you see spherocytes on their uh, on the slide. So how do you differentiate between hereditary spherocytosis and immune hemolytic anemia? This question is asked multiple times in the exam. They can ask it in a clinical way. They can just give you the uh, give you the image and they can ask you what ki- uh, and they will give you what will you do next. what will you what is your next step of management what is your next step to diagnose the patient so the next step will be combs test so in a patient with negative combs test for sure it is hereditary hereditary spherocytosis and in a in human uh, immune hemolytic anemia it will be uh, if the positive combs test is there it will be immune hemolytic anemia so in the over here the rbc is a spherical originally an rbc should, should be biconcave but over here the rbc is as spherical have a jolly bodies it is seen in megaloblastic anemia there is a dna remnant precipitation inside the rbcs 
so in inside the rbcs it's pretty similar to a heinz body but havel jolly bodies are more towards the center and they are basically dna remnant precipitation it is also seen post splenectomy sieve like chromatin it is seen in megaloblastic anemia megaloblast with sieve like chromatin uh i can be seen in this particular kind of anemia so the chromatin will look like it is a sieve you can see in the image there is the chromatin mostly uh, occupies the whole of cell and it looks like there is a sieve is present over there ring sideroblasts it is seen in sideroblastic anemia and the stain over here is prussian blue or pearl stain and the iron levels are increased like, uh, like if you had seen the previous video we have mentioned that pearl stain uh, pearl stain or prussian blue stains for, for iron so that is why when the iron levels are increased you can see the ring sideroblasts using the the prussian blue or pearl stain like this a ring is formed it's like a ring of iron is formed around the chromatin the next topic is wbc disorders the first one is air rods air rods is are seen in acute leukemia in myeloblasts it is the most characteristic finding of acute myeloid leukemia and it is only a feature of acute myeloid leukemia so the, the next thing is if you see a single rod over here like you see the single rod over here it is called as a air rod but if you see like a criss cross rod it will be called a faggot cell smart cells smart cells are uh, seen in chronic chronic lymphoid leukemia it, it they are also known as parachute parachute cells basket cell and convent girl appearance over here so they are blast with improper skeletal uh, cytoskeleton in which this particular protein is deficient vimentin it is very important to remember this for the exam garden party appearance garden party appearance has been asked a lot of times in the exam for chronic myeloid leukemia it is also known as college girl appearance you can see that there is eosinophilia uh, basophilia as well as eosinophilia so it looks like the cells are having a party hence garden party appearance dacrocytes dacrocytes are these uh, teardrop cells on peripheral blood smear as shown in the figure and they are mostly seen in primary myelo uh, myelofibrosis reed sternberg cells seen in hodgkin uh, hodgkin's lymphoma always asked in the exam at least one question is asked in the exam in the last fmg they asked this uh, asked this question both in paper 1 and paper 2 and they asked it like three times owl eye appearance most characteristic finding in hodgkin's lymphoma there will be uh, the cell will be uh, bigger in size more than 20 microns and it will have an eosinophil eosinophilic cytoplasm there will be two nuclei plus two nucleoli so owl eye appearance is seen in one more uh, condition we'll see it in microbiology this one is particular for pathology but a similar condition is seen in uh, cmv uh, infection so it can be very confusing so just remember that owl eye appearance it's uh, also known as reed sternberg cells are seen in hodgkin's lymphoma but the image is a little bit different uh, we will be discussing in microbiology just remember that the differential for that is cmv infection centrocytes also known as buttock cells because of the shape of the chromatin that it comes in it is seen in follicular lymphoma starry sky appearance it is seen in burkitt's lymphoma the stars are the macrophages and the sky is the tumor cells so basically the macrophages are present they are present in such quantity that it looks like it is a star studded sky ha hairy cells the cells literally look like they have hair on them it is seen in hairy cell leukemia it is also known as fried egg appearance it is due to the cytoplasmic projections that get projected outside the plasma membrane and hence the hairy cell appearance rule of formation it is seen in micro uh, multiple myeloma it is stacking of rbcs you can see that it's it's it looks like a 
the RBCs are like coins that have stacked upon each other. Hence the name rule of formation. M spike. Another important question asked in the exam seen in multiple myeloma. So protein electrophoresis shows abnormal A to G ratio and the characteristic M spike is there. Characteristic M spike is there which is seen in multiple myeloma. Osteolytic lesions. You can see that the this x-ray of the skull will be given in the exam and it will show that there are a lot of places where the bone has been eroded which are osteolytic lesions seen in multiple myeloma. Abnormal plasma cells in the bone marrow will lead to these osteolytic lesions. Plasmocytosis. Again seen in multiple myeloma, it is an increased plasma cell concentration throughout the body. You can see that more than the RVCs, the plasma cells are present. Sorry, more than the WBCs, the plasma cells are present. So that's it for the RVC and WBC disorders for today. Thank you so much.